you can send in your questions to askpvquestions at gmail.com. I will be taking audience questions to talk about. They are very interesting. I got a question here that says, Have you watched Ben Shapiro destroy Cenk Uygur at Politicon? Ben wins every debate he is in. Why don't you just admit he's smarter than you and you're wrong? Okay, so the Politicon debate. Uh, I thought that Ben Shapiro got destroyed by Cenk Uygur. Now, the key about these debates that you always want to do is, you always want to watch the debate in its entirety before reading anything about it. And that's what I did. And I watched it, and I saw very many weaknesses and failures on the part of Ben Shapiro. So Ben Shapiro on the issue of money and politics. He says, yes, okay, I want all money out of politics, but then he somehow still finds it a problem where he's spending many parts of the entire debate arguing about that. And what he does is he conflated uh, an investment in a private business. Private businesses don't have any actual, they're not voted by anybody, so therefore they don't have to do anything based on the people's wants. Um, and so that that is obviously how that works. But he conflated that with the government uh, and with government officials taking donations from donors, which is completely not the same because the American people are elected yes they are elected i repeat they are elected by the american people the businesses are not elected by anybody okay jank uger and the young turks are not elected by anybody so they're just making a business uh business investment which is not even close to comparable and it's not it's just flat out a, an inapt and wrong comparison but ben shapiro also straw manning very heavily by asking jank uger why we shouldn't have taxes at 100 percent so First of all, there was the point brought up that, hey, under Dwight D. Eisenhower, our economy flourished when there was a 91% marginal tax rate. A marginal tax rate means that it is a tax placed on money after a certain point. I can't recall exactly where that was placed. I think it was at that time, like a million dollars or something like that. I can't remember precisely, but that's how that works. And so he asked, you know, oh, well, why shouldn't we have it at 100%? And obviously, that's not what we're advocating for at all. You have to find find the right number. Right now, we're too low, but obviously, 100% is way too fucking high. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And also, we don't even argue for that high tax rates on everyday people. We honestly don't. And we, even when it comes to marginal tax rates, I mean, come on. So, Ben Shapiro did not destroy Jan Uger in any way, shape, or form. I did watch the actual, I did watch the entire debate in its entirety. And the main problem, a big problem that I have with Ben Shapiro debating, and Joe Rogan sort of talked about this, is that when you're debating in front of audiences, it opens up the ability to grandstand, which means you're basically going to say whatever you say for crowd cheers. And it was very clear that that's what Ben Shapiro was doing. Not only that, but that the people in the audience were clearly biased towards Ben Shapiro. And they were booing at the, the idea of recirculation of money in the economy, which is a, a, an economic you know, idea. It's very clear academically. So Ben Shapiro is a, is a serial grandstander. He grandstands all the time. You can see it in all, almost all of his things. I think that that's like a, a tactic that's ingrained into his mind is grandstanding, where what can I say to get the crowd to cheer? Because that's how... You know, my entire apparatus is set up, and so that's what he does. And I've, I've seen on countless different occasions, and it's really unbearable to watch, to be honest. And no, Jank Uger wasn't destroyed by any stretch of the imagination, no matter how many Shapiro fans tell you. And admittedly, even on debates where the left-winger is more popular, debates really just end up being, who's a fan of that person more? That's what it ends up being. 